Well, tonight a Miami County man is behind bars after the FBI investigates in Troy and in Dayton. Court documents show investigators found explosive devices at a home in Concord Township leading to that man's arrest. Two News reporter Seth Bird spoke with law enforcement and neighbors about these stunning developments in a usually quiet neighborhood. This neighborhood behind me on Barnhart Road in Troy has been teeming with federal and local officials over the past 24 hours. Their investigation led to a troubling discovery and the arrest of the man who lives there. 55 year old Dr. Stephen Whirling is being held on a charge of unlawful possession of dangerous ordnance and illegal manufacture or processing of explosives, a second degree felony. Authorities converged on his home on Barnhart Road Thursday shutting down roads, setting up a perimeter and staging outside the house for hours. At the same time, authorities also blocked off part of East Monument Avenue in Dayton. The FBI office in Cincinnati confirms the two scenes are related and were court authorized. An affidavit alleges Whirling manufactured or possessed an explosive device without getting a license from fire officials or the state fire marshal. Jail records show authorities arrested Whirling at his home on Barnhart Road around 9 Thursday night. A Miami County Sheriff's report submitted to the courts shows Whirling admitted to authorities to manufacturing explosive devices at his home and shared where they could be found. The FBI recovered six devices in the garage area, finding numerous materials, including homemade pipes, explosive chemical components, and gunpowder throughout the home, all consistent with making explosive devices. They will be staying on scene to ensure the safe recovery of the other devices. Michelle Fellers, who lives not far from Barnhart Road, says it's unsettling for her, adding it must be worse for people who live closer to the scene. I mean, what about the folks that live right next to the fella? I mean, their house, their home, their family, the entire thing could have been gone in a second. A Premier Health spokesman says Dr. Whirling is an independent practitioner with medical privileges at Upper Valley Medical Center. He is not employed by Premier Health or its affiliates and has no contractual relationship with the health system. Law enforcement told me it could be a couple of days before Barnhart Road reopens. Whirling has pleaded not guilty and he's being held on $2 million bond. His next court date is April 11th. In Concord Township, Seth Bird, 2 News.